how to set up an Amazon storefront page and start making money. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can set up your own Amazon storefront and how you can recommend and sell products from Amazon to your viewers or to the people that follow you and start making money. So let's get into it. Now, Amazon has two primary programs. First off, they have a Amazon Associates program. Now, Amazon Associates is different from actually being able to create your storefront because storefronts are primarily for influencers. So there are two different variations of Amazon Associates. You have the regular Amazon Associates, which basically allows you to promote products on your own website, on your own blog, and you're going to directly be linking websites instead of, you know, uh, building your storefront. Whereas if you take a look at Amazon influencer programs, uh, such as the Amazon storefront, these are based upon influencers that have, you know, a lot of people that are following them and they can add different items from Amazon onto their storefront. And this will allow shoppers to shop the same things that their favorite influencer is purchasing. So if you take a look at Amazon Associates over here, you will still still see that on the top right of my Amazon Associates account, I do get a storefront uh, link. And if I go on ahead and type in that link, so we can go on ahead and go into Amazon. And if I remove the pre-existing links over here, like this, I'll just remove that and add my own username, which is Lily Zero. I'm going to copy that, paste that in. And if we go on ahead and go and search for that, even though it does say that you do have a store, uh, you primarily don't have a store when you're dealing with an Amazon Associates account. So how can we build our storefront? First off, you can go on ahead into affiliates-program.amazon.com slash influencers. And I will leave a link to this in the description box down below. So you can just click on that link and you will be led to this particular page. This is the Amazon Influencers page where you can inspire shoppers as an influencer. And from here, you build your storefront, create content, and recommend products, and then you're going to earn money. You're going to click on sign up over here, and you have two options. You can use your pre existing associates account if you already have an associates account. But if you want to build a new account, if you don't want any of your previous history to be linked with your new account as an influencer, you can choose to create a new account. Simply choose your account preference. And once you do that, you're going to go on ahead and choose your social media platform. Now, this is really important because obviously Amazon is not just going to let everyone create a influencer account. They want people that are actually influencers. So for that, you're going to open up your social media platforms and just take a look at which one of your social media platforms has the most number of followers or engagement or likes. So if it's Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, whichever one it is, I'm going to go ahead and sign up with Instagram and it's going to link me to my Amazon account and I'll just click on allow. And once I click on allow over here, you'll see that uh, we appreciate your interest in Amazon Influencer Program, but your account does not meet the eligibility requirements at the time. And you can learn more about the Associates Program. Now, obviously, this is just a sample account I created. This doesn't have a lot of followers, but usually, even if you are a micro-influencer, uh, you can still create an influencer account. Keep in mind, the prerequisites are not very clearly defined by Amazon. So they honestly have the right to reject any application that they do receive. However, keep in mind that with the Amazon Influencer platform, usually you do need like above a thousand content and you will see above a thousand followers or, you know, a thousand engagement. And you will see how you can qualify for this program if you have a public YouTube, Instagram or Facebook and you are required to use a business account and we look at the number of followers you have in addition to other engagement metrics. So they don't define the number of followers, but really you need to have like at least a couple of thousand followers before you can become a influencer or a storefront owner in Amazon. Now, once you actually do get to create your storefront on Amazon, you're going to see it be displayed like this. So you will see that you're going to be able to link your social media handles and then you can add a basic description and then whatever is your popular screen name, you're just going to add that. 
And then below that, you have different curation. So you can build different collections, basically, of the types of items that you recommend. And you have a banner image and then a profile image. And below that, you can actually see the different products that each influencer is recommending. Now, how can they recommend these products or, you know, build these storefronts? Well, they can simply go on to any product on Amazon. Let's say I go into this product over here. And once I open this product, they will uh, directly get a link on the top. So you will see over here on the top, I have my Amazon Associates site stripe. So in your site stripe, what you're going to be able to do is you can directly add the product from your site stripe into your storefront if you get approved for an influencer account. If you don't have an influencer account just yet and you're still just an associate and you're just promoting via links, you can just click on text over here. And you will see store ID, Lily, tracking ID, Lily. And I can just copy this link over here. And this is my uh, link to promote this particular product. And I would be earning a similar commission as to what influencers would be earning. Now, keep in mind that it's really important to create some engaging content whenever you are looking to promote products. You will see that a lot of influencers use their own personal videos over here to actually display that they are actually using these products and if you're not doing that that is going to be a really 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 big con because when you're promoting a product you want to make sure that your audience feels that it is a reliable recommendation because if they see you know this blush is recommended by an influencer but then i realize hey i have never seen this influencer actually use this blush so it's really important and pertinent that you are using these products now another way that you're going to make sure that your products are looking very engaging is by adding a couple of um, designed images. So if you're not a influencer that likes to display their face, so if you build voice-based content or if you build content that in which you're not displaying your face, so if you're an informational channel, if you are running, you know, an informational Instagram account and you don't want to display your face, you can take some products. So let's say you have a product element like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to build these little guides which can help people. So this will help for people to understand uh, what type of skincare you're using or what type of product you're using in a more digestible way. So you're just going to click on create a design and then you can go on ahead and take any products that you would like and you can add them into one graphic and add, you know, a basic description of how you're using these products. So I'll just search for skincare in all departments and I'll take, I'll just save a couple of images from here, like this one and this one. And let's say we also want to use this one. And once we save our images, what we're going to do is we're going to go back into Canva and then you're just going to upload your images over here like this. And once you do that, you're just going to resize them a little like so and just place them over here like this. And you're going to write like a description of how you're using these skincare items. Let's say we're following like the clean girl aesthetic or something like that. Whatever suits your personal branding the best. So we're going to go ahead and add some text. It's going to say clean girl skincare routine like this. And then I can just add that to the top, download this and post this on my Instagram, post it on my other social media platforms, as well as Amazon influencers. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.